I'm, I'm not going to read from the psychopath test. I've chosen against it. Uh, instead, I'm just going to read a, a very short story that I never put in a book because it was too painful to, but I feel strong enough to um, read it now. <clears throat> this happened seven years ago. My six-year-old son, Joel, comes into my office to ask me if there's a worse swear word than fuck. No, I say. You're lying, he says. <laughs> there's none worse than fuck, I say. Joel narrows his eyes. I know you're lying, he says. He leaves the room. On Saturday, I take Joel to Chessington World of Adventures. What a crap theme park. <laughs> Nonetheless, we have a wonderful day together. You're a great dad, Joel says as we drive home. And you're a great son, I reply with a magical twinkle. We smile lovingly at each other. There is a worse swear word than fuck, isn't there, says Joel. Yes, there is, I say. What is it? asks Joel. Ah, uh, I say. Tell me, says Joel. I swear this is just for me. I'll never use it. I just need to know. I will never use it on anyone. I swear. Just tell me. I feel clammy and hemmed in. And you won't tell Mum we had this conversation. <laughs> I promise, says Joel. Mum will never know. There's a silence. I can't tell you, I say. Tell me, says Joel. I can't, I say. Then why did you almost tell me, Joel yells. Because I wasn't thinking responsibly, I yell. I was swept up in the magic of the moment. <laughs> you have to tell me, Joel says. It's only fair. Uh, I say. I look around the car. <laughs> For some reason, we have an old can of Italian lemonade down on the floor. It's Lamone, I say. <laughs> Lamone, says Joel. That's the worst swear word of all, I say. Lamone. But I'm holding you to your promise that you will never use it. OK? Never. Lamone, says Joel. He seems disappointed. There's nowhere to go after Lamone, I say. <laughs> Lamone is the Everest peak of swearing. <laughs> Joel looks out of the window. You know, I say wisely. Sometimes the mystery is better than the knowing, wouldn't you say? Sometimes the journey is better than the destination. Anyway, don't tell Mum. <laughs> we reach the house. Joel rushes inside. Mum, he yells, Dad just told me the worst swear word of all. I know what it is, Limone. <laughs> My wife, Elaine, appears at the top of the stairs, an inscrutable expression on her face. <laughs> it wasn't inscrutable. I shrug anxiously. A month passes. We go for a weekend away. At the hotel, a boy on a tricycle crashes into Joel. Limone, he mutters. <laughs> Another month passes. Joel has a friend round for a sleepover. At 11 p.m., I hear them talking. They're saying, Limone. <laughs> I feel terrible about this, I say to Elaine. I tricked my own son. I'm going to tell him that Limone isn't a swear word and is, in fact, the Italian word for lemon. I'm going to tell him the actual worst swear word in the world. You are not, says Elaine. I'd rather he was foul-mouthed and accurate than see him like this, I say, <laughs> all because of my stupid slip of the tongue in the car on the way back from Chessington World of Adventures. You are not going to tell Joel the worst swear word in the world, Elaine yells, and so I don't. Today, today Joel comes into my office. Hi, he says. Hi, I say. There's a silence. Anyway, I'll see you later, says Joel. He goes to leave. Then he turns around. Oh, he says, cunt. <laughs> Thank you.